أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وبارك وسلم السلام عليكم dear students and welcome to another session of the video lectures lecture number four of financial statements analysis in today's lecture we are going to start chapter number two of the financial statements analysis is per the lecture notes and chapter number two is financial statements and their elements this chapter consists of three lectures in lecture number one of this chapter number two we'll talk about the financial statements analysis and chapter number two of this chapter uh, lecture number two of this chapter is going to be about the financial reporting and its components and lecture three of this chapter two has been specified to discuss the cash flow statements the elements of the cash flow statements in how a cash flow statements are prepared and at the end of the chapter we'll have some practical work some activities uh, so uh, in order to enable us to prepare the cash flow statements the learning objectives of this chapter are identify financial statements used in financial reporting understand the usage and purpose of financial statements discuss the elements of financial statements learn the preparation of the common financial statements learn the cash flow statement and its importance understand the link between financial statements know about the key steps in financial statements analysis so these are basically the key uh, learning objectives of this chapter so inshallah we'll have discussion over all these elements of these objectives um, in a step by step and uh, I'll try to cover this chapter in in minimum two lectures which is going to be lecture number four of the video sessions and lecture number five of the video sessions inshallah so let's begin with the first which is introduction to financial statements analysis let's discuss what are financial statements Financial statements are written financial reports that quantify financial strength and performance liquidity of a company. It talks about the financial strength, financial performance and liquidity of a company. They represent a formal record of financial activities of an entity. These financial statements reflect the financial effects of business transactions and events on the entity so basically in, in this definition we discuss two things number one is that financial statements are written formal financial reports which records and communicates about the financial strength financial performance liquidity and the effects of the finance uh, of the business transactions and other events on a business or on an entity right financial statements they are formal reports right so when we say formal reports means that these are used to report to report what to report financial information financial information of an entity financial information could be in three or four forms the first form is that it shows the financial strength of a company number two performance performance means profit and loss number three liquidity liquidity here means the ability of a company to pay back its short term to pay back its debts could be short term or could be long term it also talks about the 
uh, flow of cash within an organization and also combining these financial reports tells us what are the effects of the different business transactions and events on an entity the financial statements are useful for the following reasons number one to determine the ability of a business to generate cash and the source and uses of the cash that's the first and most important one why because there is a saying in finance and it says that it says that finance is the lifeblood of an organization and cash is the king so if a king is 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 strong then everything is okay so it's very very important to manage the cash of a business organization effectively and efficiently if you want to figure out or want to know how a business organization effectively manages its cash you, you will have to look into the financial statements of that company specifically a statement which is called cash flow statement from that statement you will know how an organization generate its cash from which sources and how the cash is used what is the cash cycle so all that information is available on the financial statements specifically on the cash flow statement the second use of the financial statement is to determine whether a business has the capability to to pay back its debts or not we'll have to look at the prof, uh, profit and loss statement and also this information is available specifically on the balance sheet of a company on the liability portion so how you will find out that a business has the capa capability to pay back its debts or not you will have to uh, find it out through ratios through analysis and that's what we are studying here which is called financial statements analysis there are different techniques and tools used to to find out the capability of a company or of a business organization to pay back its debts inshallah we will be studying those in the future lectures the third use of the financial statement is to track results on trend trend line to spot any profitability issues there is another tool used in financial statements analysis which is called trend analysis with the help of that technique we can find out on what trend profitability of a company is going right so there is a trend you can spot a line on that we can spot that what are the prof profitability issues of a company and I mean w which which time of a year profitability is more in which time of the year profit profitability is less and what is the trend of the profitability of a company so we can also find it out uh, by using the financial statements with the help of tools and techniques of the financial statements analysis number four use is to drive financial ratios from statements that can indicate the conditions of the business we can also use the financial statements to f to to find out different types of ratios uh, in order to help us reach to a better conclusion uh, uh, on on the side on the side of financing decision on the side of investing decision or on the side of working capital management decision the fifth use of financial statements is to investigate the de the details of certain business transactions if you want to find out and want to investigate certain uh, uh, details of the transactions you will have to look into the to the business uh, the the financial statements of a business 
from there you can go forward and uh, uh, and go back and track the record uh, accounting record to to investigate the uh, different details of the transactions all right so these were the five uses of financial statements now let's talk about what is financial report or financial reporting financial reporting is basically the language or of communicating the financial information in financial condition of a company or business or non profitable organization or other public or private organizations right so basically financial report is the means or language through which with the help of which we communicate the financial information with the internal or external users and that information could be of a business organization a public organization a private organization a non profitable organization whatever the language has grammar you know every language has a grammar and pronunciation so the language of financial reporting or financial reports uh, the grammar of that the grammar and punctuation of that final of uh, of the financial reporting which we called a language is the international uh, standards there are two international standards which serves as a grammar and punctuation uh, rules uh, for financial reporting similarly uh, in the language there is a grammar and punctuation with the help of which proper communication is done in financial reporting in order to properly communicate as we said that it's a language we have grammar and punctuation the grammar and punctuation of financial reporting are standards international standards and those are two uh, the first one is called gap generally accepted accounting principles and the second one is called IFRS International Financial Reporting Standards so these two international standards serves uh, the need as a grammar and punctuation of a language in financial reporting it means that we do financial reporting using the international standards either from GAAP or from international financial reporting standards from IFRS so in in entire world one of these uh, set of standards or rules are used in order to financial re financially report or in order to prepare financial reports or in order to do financial reporting financial reporting means making of financial statements or financial reports according to the international standards and those standards as i discussed earlier are gap and ifrs there are four main types of financial reports the first one is the balance sheet the second one is the profit and loss statement the third one is the cash flow statement and the fourth one is the change in equity statement so these four are main uh, types of financial reports with the help of which we do financial reporting and these four statements are prepared according to the rules and principles given in the GAAP or in the IFRS. All the accountants in the world are abide by the uh, rules and principles of GAAP, either GAAP or IFRS. If any financial statement is prepared by using uh, the rules and standards other than GAAP and IFRS, those financial statements are not acceptable by the people right so let's talk about the financial statements one by one the first one is statement of financial position or the balance sheet it presents the financial position of an entity at a given date you have to remember this financial in financial statement balance sheet is one of the financial statements 
which give you the information of an entity on exact date that exact exact date is mentioned on the top of the financial statement in the heading right so on that specific date the statement shows what is the financial position of a company so not earlier than that date not later than that date the information uh, is available on that financial statement but only and only on that specific date so there, there is a possibility that on that specific date a company may have less uh, uh, may have less uh, less uh, debts but on the other day the debts increase right so wherever you go and uh, want to find out the financial position of a company you will have to ask that company to give you the financial statement on that exact date uh, that you want to have information about right so you have to look at the date on the top of that that's how you will find out what is the financial position of a company on a specific or on a, on an on exact date the statement of financial position helps users of financial statements to assess the financial soundness of an entity in terms of liquidity risk financial risk credit risk and business risk these are basically four uh, main types of risks that we can find out or figure out by use by using uh, information from the financial statement uh, called uh, financial position or the balance sheet from the balance sheet you can have information about the liquidity you can have the information about the financial risk you can have information about the credit risk and you have you can have information about the business risk. basically there are three main components of the uh, uh, balance sheet. The first component is assets. Asset is something that is owned by the business or controlled by the business. It could be in form of cash, it could be in form of inventory, it could be in form of plant and equipment and machinery, etc. Then assets are divided into two categories which is called current assets and the other category is called fixed assets okay well then we can also define uh, divide the assets into financial assets and non-financial assets uh, intangible assets but mainly we can divide them into short-term assets or current assets or we can say long-term assets or fixed assets the second component of the financial position statement is liability uh, liabilities are something which business owes to someone right all the loans taken by a business in different form in different ways it could be short term it could be long term it could be current liability it could be long term or fixed liability the examples of liabilities could be creditors, bank loans, etc. So basically, there is a counting equation which is assets equals liability plus capital or capital plus liability. So it means that all the assets, current and fixed assets, the total of both of them should equal to the total of liabilities and total of the equity, right? So the third portion of the uh, balance sheet is equity portion. So equity is basically what the business owes to its owners. This represents the amount of capital that remains in the business after its assets are used to pay off its outstanding liabilities. Equities therefore represent the difference between the assets and the liabilities. Uh, if you want to find out what is the equity of a company, you have to 
sub subtract liabilities from all its assets you will see how much is the equity of a company equity basically um, there is the equation that I mentioned earlier assets equals liability plus capital this as this this equation is derived from from assets equals equities then equities are internal and external internal equity is called owners equity or capital which is the money invested by the owners of the business wh which we earlier mentioned as well business owes to its owners what the business owes to its owners it's called the equity or owners equity or we can say the capital whereas the liability is the external equity so that is what the business owes to external people people who are not the owners of the business they are creditors to the business right so these three are the main uh, uh, portions of the uh, balance sheet the second financial statement is called income statement the income statement is also known as profit and loss statement it reports the company's financial performance in terms of net profit or net loss or over a specified period so this is different in the balance sheet it only and only talks about two accounts revenue and expenses all the revenues are listed then all the expenses are listed the difference of the revenue and expenses becomes a net profit or the net loss so in other terms we can say that the uh, the statement uh, of profit and loss or income statement shows the performance of a financial performance of a company by financial performance we mean how much revenue was generated and how much expense was made in order to generate the revenue and what is left at the end of a period and remember that the income statement shows the information of a company for a specific period and that specific period could be one year it could be one month it could be six months it's, it could be one quarter depends on for how uh, long or for what period the statement is made and that period is mentioned at the top of the income statement in the heading uh, for the readers to know what is the period of this uh, information uh, represented on the uh, statement right so that's the main difference between the income statement and the balance sheet the balance sheet talks about the financial position of a company financial position of a company the income statement talks about the financial performance of a company by financial position we mean what are the assets and what is the uh, the the portion of external equity and what is the portion of internal equity means how much money uh, is used from outside the organization and how much money is used from inside the organization or in other words we can say how much is invested by the owners and how much is invested by the creators right whereas the income statement tells us about the financial performance by financial performance we mean how much revenue is generated in a given period and how that is uh, expensed what are the expenses made and what is left at the end of the period right that could be a loss that could be a profit the income statement is uh, composed of the following two main elements that I earlier mentioned the first element is the income or revenue the second element is the expenses right what is income basically the income is what the business has earned over a period that could be in form of sales revenue it could be dividend income it could be in other income while the expenses are all the costs incurred by the business over a period of time that could be salaries that could be wages that could be depreciation that could be rent that could be electricity advertising etc etc all these expenses and what is left over at the end when we subtract all the expenses from the revenues we have net profit or net loss right when we arrive at the positive 
figure that be, that's our uh, net profit when we arrive at the negative figure that's our loss okay now let's talk about the purposes and uses of the income statement income statement provides the basis of uh, measuring performance of an entity over the course of accounting period accounting period is usually 12 years uh, 12 months starting from the January ending uh, on the uh, at the December 31st performance can be assessed from the income statement in terms of the following number one change changes in and uh, change in sales revenue over a period in comparison to the industry growth you can check your performance by comparing by doing a comparative analysis by comparing your revenue sales revenue with the industry growth right industry growth means that what is the sales increase in overall industry the industry where you are serving or you are where you are doing business so you'll have to compare your growth revenue uh, growth of the revenue increase in revenue with the industry growth if it is going side by side it shows that you are performing well if industry growth is more and your growth is less it means you are not performing very well your performance is weak and then you have to adjust yourself accordingly changes in the gross profit margin what is gross profit gross profit is basically revenues minus cost of goods sold when you subtract cost of goods sold from the revenues from all the revenues you get a, a gross profit then how you get a margin the margin is gross profit margin is total sales divided by the gross profit you will get gross profit margin similarly there is operating profit margin operating profit is what operating profit is basically gross profit minus operating expenses how will, how you will get the profit margin operating profit margin you will have to divide total sales total sales divided by the operating profit you will get operating profit margin then we have net profit margin how you are going to get that first of all what is net profit net profit is uh, gross profit minus operating and non operating expenses you will get the net profit now how you'll get the margin you'll have to divide uh, the total sales revenue divided by the net profit you will get the net profit margin right so with the help of uh, uh, the information uh, from the financial state uh, income statement you can find out the gross profit margin operating profit margin and net profit margin similarly you can find out the changes in total net profit total operating profits total gross profits over a period of time if your gross profit is less you will have to focus on your cost of goods sold you have have to bring it uh, to the minimum and also will have to focus on your revenues to increase if your operating profit is less it means your operating expenses are more you will have to focus on the operating pro pro uh, expenses to be reduced so we'll have increase in operating profit if your net profit is uh, less you'll have to focus on three things both first we'll have to look at the uh, cost of goods sold if that is okay then you'll have to go look into the operating expenses if those are okay then you'll have to look into the non operating expenses and see if you can adjust right with the help of this you can check your performance and adjust accordingly uh, uh, grow your performance for the next year to be better comparisons of the uh, entity's profitability with the organization in the same industry or sector with the help of income statement we can compare one organization with the other organization your organization should can could be compared with the other organization but that organization should also be in uh, serving in the same industry and should be of save same size uh, as of you income statement also forms the basis of uh, important financial evaluation of an entity when it is analyzed in connection with the financial statements such as changes earning per share uh, work and capital management or interest and dividend cover ratio so we can also 
uh, uh, use the income statement in connection with the balance sheet okay let's talk about the statement of changes in equity the statement of changes in equity is also used is also known as statement of retained no. earnings the statement of retained earnings details the movement in the owner's equity over a period by movement we mean whether there is an increase or whether there is a decrease if there is an increase it could be due to uh, retained profits or it could be additional investment when we see that there is a decrease it could be due to loss or it could be due to uh, withdrawals right the movement in owners equity is derived from the following components number one net profit or net loss during the period as reported in the profit and loss statement as i earlier mentioned when there is net profit and that net profit is reinvested in the company there will be increase in the uh, equity and the owner's equity if there is loss there will be decrease in the uh, owner's equity share capital issued or repaid during the period so similarly if there is additional share capital uh, uh, reinvest invested in the uh, in the company so there will be increased in the owner's equity if it is uh, repaid back it will be decreased dividend payments if dividend is announced and dividend is paid to the owners so there will be decrease in the owner's equity if there is no dividend payments there will be increase in the owner's equity gains or losses recognized directly in equity revaluation surpluses sometimes we revaluate our uh, investments our business as a result what happens is there is a gain in revaluation process so that gain um, uh, increases the owner's equity but when there is loss due to revaluation there is decrease in the owner's equity effect of changes in accounting policy or correction of accounting error sometimes accounting policy changes and a certain expenses uh, um, uh, for example a certain um, money spent on uh, making asset is considered as an expense so expense increases net profit decreases with the help of which uh, our uh, effect is on the changes on the owner's equity owner equity reduces sometimes when there is a change in accounting policy a certain expense which was recognized as an expense increase our expenses is taken out from the expenses portion and it is uh, uh, recategorized under the assets as a result what happens is that our expenses reduces and our net profit increases as a result our owner's equity increases or sometimes there is a uh, error in our accounting information with the when that error is rectified sometimes it increases our net profit sometimes it decreases our net profit so that also becomes the cause of increase or decrease in the uh, owner's equity purposes and importance of the owner's equity statement the first is that it helps users to identify the factors that cause a change in the owner's equity and the factors could be share capital issued and redem redemption during the period the effect of changes in accounting policies and correction of uh, 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 and correction of uh, prior period errors gains or losses dividend declared and uh, bonuses shared issued during the period so with the help of uh, basically the uh, changes in uh, changes in owner uh, in equity statement we uh, basically find out what are the changes in the owner's equity and due to what these changes happen so it also gives us very important information with the help of which we can then decide further whether to invest in that company or not to invest in that company okay so there are uh, five main components of the uh, statement of changes in equity SCE means statement of changes in equity
the first one is opening balance opening balance is the earning balance of the uh, the previous period for example the previous period the the closing balance is for example 1 million that 1 million closing balance as of 31st December 2019 becomes the opening balance of the uh, balance sheet uh, of the statement of to, uh, 2020 changes in share capital that is the second component changes in share capital um, uh, we have this heading and there we see what changes happened the if the share capital is increased there is uh, uh, another shareholder came into the business or one of the shareholder has left the business or the, there were withdrawals from uh, by the owners or there is additional investment by the owners this is reported under the the changes in the share capital then we have dividends in dividends portion we see we report if the dividend has been paid out or if the dividend has not been paid out then we have income or loss for the period this uh, is uh, reported from the profit and loss statement whatever appears on the from profit and loss statement is in law profit or net profit or net loss that is directly linked with this portion and at the end there is a closing balance closing balance is basically opening balance plus changes in share capital plus dividends plus net income and net income and or net loss as a result we have closing balance this closing balance of this period becomes the opening balance of the other period right now this closing uh, period uh, balance is reported as cash as cash uh, or, or as a, sorry as a, as a owner's equity or as a capital uh, it, it is reported back in the balance sheet in the capital portion or in the owner's equity portion right so this is all about the uh, the financial statements and their components hope you guys have uh, understood and learned something new from this uh, uh, lecture the next we have components of financial reporting right so there are five components of financial reporting the first four are basically the financial statements that we discussed earlier and the last one in is called notes to the financial statements notes to the financial statements they are basically not financial statements but they are notes to the financial statements means they are additional information available uh, at the end of uh, the financial statements package uh, there is detailed information another information or we can say verbal information or uh, expressed in words written information uh, about the f uh, f uh, about the numbers given on the financial statements like as per the international standards we cannot give additional information we cannot write something in words within the finan four financial statements so if you want to add information to give reader an extra information we have to prepare we have to write that in a separate note those notes are called notes to financial statements it means that if there are three four or five points within the income statement which requires extra information we cannot write within that information within the income statement what we have to do we have to prepare a separate notes we'll have to link them we'll put a star on that point and then we'll say uh, point number five uh, is explained in the notes then that serial, same serial number is also given in this uh, in the notes when reader is looking at the income statement when we s see a star on on an on a on a for example on a component he'll refer back to the notes and see what that star means there so that the the the, the reader will give an extra information about that okay there is the uses of the uh financial statements number one is statement of comprehensive income it's also called profit and loss statement or we can say uh, income statement there are different names available for that if we have positive figure at the end it's a profitable company it's, if there is a negative we'll say it's a loss-making company and 
if revenues are equal to the expenses we will say this company is on break even point okay then now let's talk about the financial position this report is used to find out the financial strength and financial position of a company in terms of assets liabilities and equities current assets plus non current assets plus intangible assets it's it, it is what asset portion it equals to current liabilities plus long-term liabilities plus equity so current liability plus long-term liability it's liability portion both of them then we have equity portion and equity portion it's initial capital investment additional capital during the year then we have net profit which is um, reported either taken from the profit and loss statement or from the statement of changes in equity okay here SOFP what does it mean it means statement of financial position carries balances from all uh, permanent accounts from the commencement of a business and reports on it anything outstanding till reporting date look there are two types of reports first of all you should know that there are five main types of account of uh, accounts in the accounting number one assets liabilities capital expenses and revenue out of these uh, five three are permanent accounts which are always available on the balance sheet or financial position statement the two other uh, temporary accounts they are available on the income statement permanent accounts are different than the temporary account the permanent accounts they are permanent they have the value they report the value from the start date of the business till the end date of the business they carry they carry over the the value means the value is not closed down whereas the ex, uh, the the uh, the temporary accounts revenue expenses they are closed within each year right for each year there is different revenue there is different expenses and those are closed within that period they are not carried forward to the next period but these three other types of accounts assets liabilities and capital they are carried over from one period to other period right for example if a business has spent 10 years so its assets on the 10th year will reflect the value of a business over the 10 period on exact that date right similarly the liability liability when a period ends liability is not over liability carries over to the next year you have to pay back the liability right and you have to report the liability in the in the uh, in the financial statement next is financial statement of cash flow it shows the cash balance at reporting date the idea is to adjust cash flows in cash cash inflows and cash outflows throughout the reporting period with the cash balance at the start of the period which is called opening balance and determine what amount of cash is left in the business business are cash sensitive doing business means deploying cash so when you when you when you do business you have to remember you have to keep in mind the cash flow the cash management because main of most of your decisions are based on the cash the more liquid business the better business meets immediate financial requirements so the more liquid business means more uh, uh, easily available cash in the business this guarantees that business can uh, meet immediate financial requirements but we have to remember that we don't have to keep access of cash right we have to invest but invest wisely okay next is in statement of changes in equity due to significantly high influence of owners on the business the business needs to tell the owner how much stake they have in monetary terms in the business so the, for, for this sake we have to prepare changes of um, changes in owner equity statement or owner equity we can also call that owners equity statement or changes in equity statement with different names we can call but the main purpose is to give an information to the stakeholders to the owners that what is their equity or capital position in the business okay here is OCE what does it mean it means statement of changes in equity right reports on the owners stake in the company it 
talks about how much owner has stake in the company stake here means the investment increase in this portion means happier shareholder and owners I mean if an, a company's uh, owner equity statement shows greater balance from one year to other year it means that the shareholders or the owners of this company are happy with the performance of this company that's why they are they are keeping in that, that that's why they keep investing in this company bringing in uh, more money uh, more and more money to the business so the business is growing well okay so the last one we have here is uh, notes to the financial statements as I earlier mentioned notes to the financial statements are extra information but very important information about the uh, financial elements of the financial statements figures on the face of the financial statements needs explanation to the users and this explanation is available where in the notes to the financial statements this set of information is a complement to the other components of financial statements explaining areas of concerns and breaking down significant values so that users of financial statements can better understand singular item right remember only share value valid and material information small detail don't count right it means that we have to in the notes of the financial statements it's not like something that uh, whatever comes to remind you have to put that into notes no only and only valid information material information and small details uh, uh, in important details should be included in the notes of the financial statements we cannot put everything into the notes of the financial statements uh, which, which questions the 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 importance of the financial reporting right so inshallah that's all for today's lecture uh, i hope uh, you are not bored with my explanation um uh, till now we are on theoretical uh, uh base inshallah in upcoming lectures i uh, as i uh, have already explained to you that half of the course is theory but other half is practical inshallah we are sooner getting into the uh, uh, practical phase so i request all of you to bear with me as soon as the uh, theoretical portion is over so if you have any questions any comments please get, get back to me i'll be very happy to explain and uh, remove your question thank you so much and assalamu alaikum